So guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It's been a very long time since the last one. And kicking things off like we kind of ended it the last time with a new update. The 128 update is here for ATS. I can't believe it. In fact, it adds a couple of new things, which I will show you now. And in fact, we are going to take a very rare triple trailer uh, in Nevada, where it's the only place you can actually get it. You have to have a start and end point in Nevada itself to get these triple trailers. And obviously, at this point, it was on the beta branch, so obviously there was no kind of mods activated at the time. So we get the default skinned triple trailer. In fact, the default skin is part of the trailer packs anyway. And we have our new truck. Uh, we're not having a Peterbilt this time because we sold the Peterbilt. And in fact, replaced it with a, a Kenworth W900. So this is going to be fun. Not like the last one where it has like a pretty much flat front. This one has an actual kind of bonnet. A sticky outfit at the front. So turning circles are going to be a bit bigger. I say that. A bit bigger. And... Also, we're going to have collisions, like, sooner than expected. Obviously, I'm not used to driving Kenworth trucks. So it's a bit weird. But the triple trailers are very long. As you can see, I have to go all the way over here just to try and get it, this out. And can we actually get this out without clipping the tractor? And, in fact, I've probably taken a too big of a turn. And you can see the clip right there. I was nowhere near the thing. I was nowhere near the tractor at all. It just clipped the box basically and talking of that there's a the tractor that's there on our right now is on the trailer in front so you know that guy's working on that tractor you know that could have been the other one that broke down you never know anyways we just about managed to get that out well it's it, it's it's very big it's got three articulation points one at the end of each trailer so it, it's a smooth turn it's not like a trail, like a massive one trailer with like one artic articulation point. There's like three of on this one. But we are going from Carson City, as you can see, and we are ending in Tonopah, which is actually a very short trip. And in fact, I couldn't find another trailer at all. I couldn't find any other trailers in Nevada, which was ridiculous. But nonetheless, we've got a trip. It may be a short one. Probably not, because it'll take forever. Everything's clear both sides. Has to be clear both sides. Have to take some curb. And let's see in the mirror. On the left there, there you go. That's the big massive turn in the circle. But nonetheless, uh, it's good so far. And we have traffic behind us. That's always fun. You'll see very, very good things when we get into towns. When we have to go through like tight corners and such. It's ridiculous. And in fact, here... Looking left and right, nothing's coming. Pull out into the middle of both lanes to get it around the corner. Now look at the mirror in the right. Let's see. Oh god, look at that. See, it's cutting already. That turning circle put me on the line. So it's that that's basically that much amount of room you have to leave. And in fact, they take some of this little runoff strip there just to try and get it around the corner. But we are on the uh, somewhat high, high speed part of the uh, the journey look at the epicness though the epicness of the trailers if you thought one was easy well here's a new challenge you have three instead so we just need to try and get up to speed the engine is not great in fact it, I just struggle in fact but we're taking fertiliser I forgot to mention that 19 tons of it Obviously, I'm kind of struggling right now to get to 50, and it's 70 limit, so this might take a while. But yeah, the 128 update then has a load of new features. It has better uh, like light flares, so obviously they've remodeled that. They've put doubles and triples in, which is arguably the... Uh, the biggest part of the update, in fact. The double trailers are not as bad. You can get them literally anywhere. The triples you can only get in Nevada, which is kind of sad. Because you rarely get them. You have to be, like, really lucky in Carson City. Or you just go all the way to Jackpot, which I haven't unlocked yet. And I've been trying to get a journey there, but I can't. 
I thought this journey with the triple would, but you know, obviously it didn't go there. So they've added that, um, a, f a few fixes here and there, but yeah, they're the main points. Also, they've put like background images now, so they've got one when you're in the tunnel, like a truck in the tunnel and such. They'll add more, I'm sure, or there'll be mods for it. But that adds, adds like a better background image, so you're not staring at your truck all the time, because that is just boring. You just have your truck in the middle of some like blurred out background rotating and having camera angles everywhere. So, yeah. Not much in the way of content, which is a still, a still a pressing point in this game. Nothing's new, map-wise, but they're gonna, they're, they're having New Mexico built, and in fact, they probably have it built almost to completion now, but, you know, it's just gonna take forever for this. Hence why I haven't been doing content on this, and... Yeah, in, in general, it's just... It's just a rubbish game. Map-wise, if you explore everywhere, which I nearly have, it just becomes boring. And then we add these triple and doubles in, and it makes the game so much better. But we need some fuel, because I forgot to fill up, and I didn't realise that we were literally on the edge of being in the red zone. So we have to make it to the fuel station. Hopefully we can make it there without running out of fuel, because that'll be a disaster. A big disaster. So, I had to slow way down for that guy. And I don't know why I did, because now I have to accelerate again from 44. So, you know, it's a 55 limit, yeah. And I'm doing about 52. So... And we couldn't even hit the 70 limit. So who knows what that's going to do for the time. But yeah, I can't remember being down this road at all. And it looks amazing. In fact, it's probably like one of the less kind of commonly used roads. With scenery and such. In it, I think the scenery looks okay. I like the mountains. But this, this game is just, like, past the point of, like, well, who's going to play it? Who's streaming it? Not very many people. At the point of, like, 128 when that came out, that has probably got a few streams on it and a few videos, maybe. But all that's going to be is on the trailers. Maybe even the background images. Who, who's going to, like, do more videos on this thing? That is the pressing point, everyone. That is the pressing point with this game. When is SES going to actually create new content? Is it going to create it more often? And they're focusing on Euro Truck because now in Euro Truck, they've got an Italy DLC coming out. So, you know, that's another map expansion that I have to buy, otherwise, pro mods won't work eventually. I don't know when they're going to do that, actually. Italy. I find it a bit pointless them releasing loads of map DLCs constantly. I get it because it's Euro Truck. Why can't they do it for this? Why can't they just create content for this? Leave Euro Truck alone. I suppose it's the paid kind of thing. What are they going to do when New Mexico comes out? Are they going to charge for that? Are they going to charge... Or not? That's the thing. With American Truck, there's not many kind of... paid options... in terms of content. The wheel creations... Is it the wheel creations? The steering wheel model things, the cut like the really fancy looking steering wheels. That that's paid content. I think the Valens Valentine's Day like paint jobs, that was a paid thing. Nothing else is. There's no trailer pack, well except heavy haul, I I was gonna say there's gonna there's been like no other content apart from that, but I I lie, there's heavy haul. But yeah. What are they gonna do with DLC? just don't know. Are they going to just have everything for free? Probably not. That's not how the world works. But we're going to pull into this fuel station with a triple trailer. This is going to be tough. I can't even get in here properly with a normal trailer. And I end up clipping it, so you know. This is going to be fun. 
it's going to be fun when we get out of here anyways. Right, so I've kind of like messed that up. Now the truck's kind of on the curb. Yeah, this is going to be tricky getting out of here. Because if you can see, just like all the way at the back, the trailer's just like still in the middle of the, like the main road. Well, it's not in the middle as such. It's on the edge of it. So it's going to be a bit of a pain trying to get out. Because no way it's going to make that turn. Where we are and the, the angle that we're going to turn at is just unreal. We need to use like all of the space in front of us. We're going to need we're going to need that space. Because I know for a fact that when I start turning now, it's going to come round and I'm not going to make that turn. Because it'll just hit the sign. As you can see, look look at that trailer behind there. It's just going to cut into the sign. If the angle was a bit better, perhaps we could. But we'll take some grass. In fact, I probably could have got around there. Without having to take grass, but you know. It is what it is. And we're on the road again. Full of fuel. There's the tanker. Going past. We don't care about those. You can get like triple and double tankers as well. I haven't got one of those. I've just got the box trailers so far. This is the first triple I've ever got. I've had double trailers, which have been box trailers. There's been like no doubles or triples fuel kind of tanks or anything. Which is kind of sad because I got I got a few mods for it. For like all the skins and stuff and I've had like nothing. It's a bit unreal. It really is. But yeah, I was, I was talking about the, the, the DLC earlier. Yeah, the, the, the ATS stuff. I, I guess New Mexico is going to be like a paid for thing. Hopefully they'll add some more stuff. Because the trucks are not the... I think they've added like one new kind of variation of the existing... I think they added a new Peterbilt or something. Like a long nose version. But that's about it in the way of trucks. There's no new manufacturers in it. There's only the Kenworth and the Peterbilt ones. Which is a bit annoying. I mean, there's other there's other truck makers in the US. Surely there's like the Volvo VNL, which we were like wondering when that would come in, and it hasn't come in. And then there's other ones like Freightliner, and then there's Mac, and then there's probably some others that I don't know. So it's a bit stupid. Don't know how. They're going to put them in the game because, like, a, a year on. In fact, more than a year on. It's going to be nearly two years. Very soon. It may be only August. The back end of August going into September. But seriously, it'll come so quickly. February again. Or whenever this game came out. And they'll have just two trucks in the game. So where was Euro Truck back then? Oh, wait, because by default they had, like, Mercedes, Volvo. Renault. Scania. Uh, DAF you know they had at least five can't remember the others I've Echo as well six there you go six at default only Scania and I think I think it was only Scania that was licensed at the very start when it first came out Euro Truck because I remember playing it I think it was only yeah I think it was only Scania and Renault that were licensed all the other ones were made up and then eventually all of them got licensed. That is the sole difference between this game and Euro Truck. That is the sole difference. Euro Truck is a better game in terms of drivable roads. There's um, now Pro Mods working on it which has expanded the map. In fact, I think the expansion itself the Pro Mods team have created is bigger than the actual map. And then they have like another map, which is uh, TSM or whatever, Truck Sim map. That had like multiple countries in it. And stuff. I don't use that. I used to use it, but I don't know. That had loads of stuff in. There's several maps that you can get for this. You can get the Mexico pack, which I briefly installed, it installed and then uninstalled it. Because of this. 
and I just don't want to keep updating the map. Plus, the game gets boring, whether you have drivable roads or not. In fact, you can get like low quality drivable roads by downloading Coast to Coast and Me Mexos Mexoscan or something, if that still exists. There's those two maps that spread, um, well the Coast to Coast goes the Route 66 basically, pretty much, and then there's like one city in every state, pretty much. That, that I'm guessing from that. Then there's the Me Mexoscan one which goes into uh, Canada. And But the low quality, I tried them briefly and I didn't want to do it because it was just basic co basically co copy and paste a city and that was it. And give it a different name and change some buildings and ground textures and such. Apart from that there's like nothing. This game has failed, pretty much, in the way of DLC, maps, content in general. The only thing they're working on is the trailers. In this, that's it. It just infuriates me, to, because I really wanted this game when it first came out, and now I'm thinking... Well, this has been a waste of time and money, and they can't even give us content that's, you know, that's the kind of requirement for purchasing a game. You're expected to get updates and stuff. You can't, A game doesn't stay, like, there's one thing throughout its lifetime. You know, there's updates, there's patches, which we're getting the updates. Which is fair enough, but the, the same as Euro Truck, which isn't a bad thing. But then there's no content with trail. Well, except trailers. That's about it. In fact, that's the only thing so far that they've pretty much worked on a lot is the trailers. Why? We don't care about the trailers. We've got mods for that. It's fair enough. They want to create their own paid-for versions. That's completely fine. But yeah, put some trucks in. If we have to pay for them, so be it. Just put a truck in. At least to like a new manufacturer or something with like six di different variations of the trucks, different models maybe that'll help. They'll help a lot. But right now we have to rely on mods, and I think they know this. In fact, they do know it because like anyone can mod it. But yeah, they just they just don't want to work on it. It's kind of sad. Unless they are working on it, which I presume they are, but they just don't have the manpower to actually physically get content out quickly. Because, remember, they've got Euro Truck, so they're going to have, like, the majority of the time spent on Euro Truck. That's how it is, unfortunately, in the world of SCS and truck simulators. So we're pretty much near the end of this delivery. I can see the delivery point pretty much just up ahead. Um, just a quick little update on what's going on on the, on the channel. This is, like, after I've recorded most of this commentary. But... I've took most of my videos down because I see no point. I mean, if you've noticed that, that's, that's not too much of a big issue, but I've deleted like a load of videos because they're all crap. And my channel now is completely kind of new, in a way, with commentary and all that. And I just watched some of the older videos and they were just awful. So I've deleted some of those. F1 content is going to be on the channel pretty much from now till next year's game, pretty much. So yeah, that that's kind of like a quick little brief update of what's going on. Uh, more F1 content, uh, content is going out after this video. I'm working on some others. But, getting back into the game, we are here at the, at the delivery point. We have to drive it in forwards. There's no other way to actually park this. You can't reverse them. There's three articulation points. You can't really reverse it properly, but I think I've just about nailed this. Right there, as you can see, it ju it's just turning in at the back. So I think, I think we've got away with this. Hopefully we have. Oh, look at that, it accepted it. We're just gonna reverse a little bit, even basically I just contradicted myself. But that is the triple trailer in ATS. I hope you have enjoyed Leave a like if you have, subscribe for more content, that's our first triple delivery, probably more soon to come. 
But that's it from me, and I shall see you all next time.